Hello friends, welcome to my channel and in this video you are going to learn finding unit digit or cyclicity. So what cyclicity is and what kind of questions you get in your exam, we will discuss all that and if you like the video, please share and subscribe to the channel. So let's start. So first of all understand what cyclicity is. Have a look at this. 2 raised to the power 1 is 2, 2 power 2 is 4, 2 power 3 is 8, 2 power 4 is 16, 2 power 5 is 32, then 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024. Now you will see here an interesting pattern. See, uh, have a look at these unit digits 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, 4, 8, 6 2 4 okay so we get this pattern 2 4 8 6 2 4 8 6 2 4 8 6 no other number only this pattern so whenever you have 2 power anything it will always be 2 4 8 6 2 4 8 6 in this pattern so this pattern is called cyclicity now you can see that this 2 4 6 um, 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, 4, 8, 6. So it is repeating like this 2 is repeating after every 4. Okay. It's repeating after every 4. So we say that cyclicity of 2 is 4. Okay. So cyclicity of 2 power n, whatever the power is, is 4. It is called cyclicity. So I think now you know the term cyclicity. All right, in exams, you get questions, find unit digit. So, if I ask you a question that you have 3 power uh, 3, what is the unit place? So, it's very easy to find out because you know that 3 power 3 is 27 and its unit place is 7. If I ask you that what is unit digit of 4, 1, 2, power 4. So first thing is that we have only to do with this unit place. So it's gonna be 2 power 4 and you know 2 power 4 is what? It's 16 and unit place is 6. So it's again very easy to find. Similarly, if you are asked what is unit place of 8 power 3? So you know that eight. if you expand 8 power 3, you are getting 5, 1, 2 and unit place is 2. So, the conclusion is, it, it's very easy to figure out when you have power very small, when you have very small power. But when you have big powers, for example, if I ask you, what is unit place in the expansion of 8 power 64? So, first expand this and then what is the unit place? Then the question becomes a bit difficult. So, how to find its unit place? You will learn in this video. Okay. So to make it study simple, I have divided the digits. You know what digit digits are? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are digits. Okay. So I have divided these 10 digits into 3 sets. So in the first set, we have these 4 digits. 0, 1, 5, 6. So, what is the speciality of these digits that whenever you see these digits at unit place, they remain same. What I mean, if you get this question in exam that you have 4, 1, 6, power 52 and what is the unit digit? So, the answer will be just 6, okay, because it doesn't change. You can see here 6 power 1 is 6, 6 power 2 is 36, so unit is again 6. 6 power 3 is 216, unit is again 6. 6 power 4 is 1296 and unit place is again 6. Okay. So whenever you have unit place, whenever you have 6 at unit place, it's always gonna be 6. And same for these others, for 0, for 1, for 5. Okay, so whenever you see these digits at unit place, your unit digit will be same, will always be same. So, 
let's take a few examples the question is find unit digit when you expand these so first question 61 power 23 and you know that you have one at unit place so the answer will be 1 86 power 34 what will be the unit digit if you expand this and uh, you know that 6 is at unit place so answer gonna be 6 50 so here is 0 is at unit place answer is 0 okay it will be same 45 so 5 is at unit place answer will be 5 86 so 6 is at unit place answer is 6 okay similarly here 91 power 23 so it's gonna be 1 555 5, 5 power okay so no matter what power we have here we just look at we will look at only unit place and if unit place is 0, 1, 5, 6. So our answer will be the same. Okay. All right. So these are a few examples you have. So if you, uh, if you want to try these questions, pause this video here and try these questions. And uh, okay. So I'll tell you the answer of these questions. So have a look at first example. So the question is, if you solve this, what number will you get at unit place? So you know that this is 36 power 21. So from this, you are getting 6 into. And this is 65 power 44. So it's 5. It's, it, it's going to be remain same. And 6, 5 is 30. So your answer is 0. Okay. Okay, in this second question, 51 power 32, 656 power 41, and 251 power 22. If you expand this, so what will be the number, what will be the digit at unit place? You know that if you're gonna, if you expand this, you will get 1, it's the same. If you expand this, so it's 6 at unit place, you'll get 6. And here again, you get 1, and the answer is 6. Okay, similarly, for this question, your answer gonna be 0 into 5, that is 0. And for the last question, your answer will be 5 into 6, and that is 30. So our answer is 0 at unit place. All right. Okay, now have a look at set 2. In set 2, we have these two digits, 4 and 9. And why? Because that cyclicity of 4 and 9 is 2. Okay. So how? Why cyclicity is 2? Have a look here. 4 power 1 is 4. Then 4 squared is 16. 4 cube is 64. 4 power 4 is 256. You will see a pattern here. Here 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6. You will get only these two digits. Okay. So, you can see that whenever you have odd powers, odd powers, I repeat, whenever you have odd powers, it is always same. So, you know, when power is 1, it's 4, power is 3, it's again 4, power is 5, it's again 4. So, whenever you have power odd, in uh, you have whenever you have 4 power odd, the answer is always 4. Okay. Now, what if we have even power? So, when we have even power, you can square it and you are going to get 6. So, suppose that you have 4 power even. So, what you are going to do here? You are just going to 4 square and that is 16 and answer is 6. Okay. So, if the question is, if you have question that you have 254 power 89 so what digit will appear at unit place when you expand this so your answer gonna be 4 why 4 because power is odd okay and if we have uh, 64 power 42 so what digit appears at unit place if you expand this so you know that it's 4 and power is even so it will be just 4 square and that is 16 and your answer gonna be 6 is it clear so you have to look for only odd and even 
and same goes for 9 because cyclicity of 9 is again 2. So 9 power 1 is 9, 9 square is 81, 9 cube is 729, 9 4 is this. Okay. So you can see that at unit place we have 91919191. You will get only these two digits. So whenever you have 9 power odd, you are gonna get the same number, same digit. 9. Okay. And whenever you have 9 power even, so what you are gonna do? 9 square and it's 81 and your answer will be 1. Okay. So I repeat, whenever you have power in case of 4 and 9, whenever you have odd power, so it's gonna be same. And whenever you have even power, so what you need to do, just square it. And that will be your answer. The unit digit will be your answer. Okay. So have a look at these examples here. Okay. So we have these examples. So find unit place of this unit digit of these numbers. So first you have 79 power 23. So what is the answer? See, in one second you can find the answer. Just look at power and you know that you, this is odd power and it's gonna be same. Okay, so and here 34 power 22 and you know that power is even so we will square. So answer will be 4 square is 16 and your answer is 6. Okay, this third one 219 power 42. So we have even power. Okay, and 9 power even that will be 9 square. And your answer is 1. Okay. You will 9 square and 81 and answer will be 1. Okay. Now 214 power 41. So it's 4 power 1. Okay. So the answer will be. And now you can see that power is odd. So answer will be same. Okay. Again in this case power is even. So you will write 4 so 9 square. And that's gonna be again 1 in this question 74 power 12 so it's 4 and power is even so it will be 4 square and answer is 6 okay question number 7 C power is it is written 2n but you know that 2n is an even number so it's basically 4 power even and that the answer is 6 okay and in the last question 9 power and 4 and also even so 4 so n yeah, 9 power even and 9 power even is 81 and that is 1 now finally have a look at this third and final set and the most important set so in this set we have these four digits 2 3 7 8 and why all these are together because cyclicity of all these is 4 so in the starting of the chapter i told you that I showed you why cyclicity of 2 is 4. So similarly, we have cyclicity of 3 is 4 and that of 7 is 4 and that of 8 is 4. All right. So how we solve these questions? I'll just take an example and um, I'll show you how to solve these questions. Okay, step by step. So suppose that you have to find unit digit of this number. Okay. So what is step one? In step one, write only the unit digit because we have to do only with unit digit. So write only two here, okay, of this base and power. In the second step, and the in the this is the most important and most confusing step. So here, what you have to do, divide the power by four and write only remainder. Okay, I repeat, divide the power by four and write only remainder. So you have to divide this power by 4. So and after dividing this power by 4, you will get remainder 3. So write remainder 3 here. Okay. And now solve it and it's 8 and it's your answer. Simple. Okay. But one thing you need to understand. Sometimes there will be cases that you are getting remainder 0. So when you get remainder 0 in power, 
write 4 not 0 okay let's take this example and you will understand it better find unit place of this 2 to 7 power 24 so first write only unit digit of base and it's 7 the so 7 power 24 now divide this power 24 by 4 and you are getting remainder 0 you know that if you divide 24 by 4 you will get remainder 0 but you don't have to write 0 you have to write only 4 here so whenever you get remainder 0 write 4 now solve this 7 power 4 and this is you know 7 power 4 is uh, 7 square into 7 square and that is 49 into 49 and if you divide 9 by 9 you will get 81 and you know that 81 unit digit of 81 is 1 so our answer is 1 all right so let's take a few examples to understand this concept better okay so we have this 352 power 22 so the first step write the unit digit of this base that's 2 power and then power 22 now divide power by 4 and if you divide power 4 you know that you are gonna you are gonna get 2 in power okay so it's it will be 2 square and answer is 4 okay now you have this so okay uh, so I want you to practice these questions okay just note down these questions practice these questions and find unit digit and then come back to this video and uh, then look at the solutions okay all right so here we have this second question 358 power 43 so what we do just write only unit place this is 8 and power 43 okay now divide power by 4 and you are getting remainder 3 you know if you divide 43 by 4 you will get remainder 3 and now solve it and 8 cube is 512 and answer is 2 okay again in this question 7 power this so it uh, just write only 7 the unit digit of the base divide power by 4 and you are getting 1 in power and your answer is 7 okay simple and the, in the last question write only 3 okay the unit digit of base now divide power by 4 and you will get remainder 0 here okay if you divide 432 by 4 you will get remainder 0 but you don't have to write 0 you will write 4 here and now 3 power 4 is 81 and answer is 1 all right okay and whatever you did today uh, in this table it is summarized so if you have 0 1 5 6 no change if you have 4 9 so for odd power it will be same and for even power just square the digit so in case of 4 power even you will get 6 at unit place and if, if in case 9 power even you will get 1 at unit place and when you have these digits just divide power by 4 and write the remainder if if remainder is 0 write 4 and solve it and you will get your answer all right so i'm sure this topic is clear to you and thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video Till then, take care. God bless.